For my subscribers who are looking forward to the Decluttering Your Home for the Holidays series today, it will be on tomorrow. So instead of Motivational Monday, it will be Motivational Tuesday. Hi friends, it is time once again for the $5 Goodwill Challenge hosted by Hillary from Old World Home. Please check out the playlist linked in the description box below to see what everyone else has come up with. In one of my uh, thrifting adventures to the Salvation Army, I found some really interesting things to use for the $5 Goodwill Challenge for Christmas. And it just so happened that on that day that I was in the store, all of the tan or brown tags were 50% off. So I got three items and I only spent $2.50. All three of the items are vintage, but I really don't know if they are actually vintage or if they are just vintage-like. But they all look fairly old, and they're all candles that I don't intend to burn. Now the first one is this cute little Santa. I just think he's absolutely adorable. And then his little, the little wick was right here in his hat. And of course, I'm not gonna burn him, and thankfully, no one else burned him. And the original price was 99 cents, so I got it for uh, 49 cents, 50 cents. I'm just, gonna, I'm just rounding up. Let's just say I got him for 50 cents. The next candle is this cute little snowman. Now, I'm not really sure how old he is. Like I said, um, he doesn't appear to be all that old to me. And, of course, he was not burned either. And he was originally priced at... $1.99 so I got him for a dollar and then the last candle is the most vintage I think it might be the most likely to actually be uh, of a vintage um, nature um, it's an Avon though but of course Avon's been around for a long time and it's Mrs. Snow Light and it was a Bayberry fragrance candle and she actually was burned but I don't mind that and you can't really tell unless you're looking straight down I just think she's super cute and she was also $1.99 so I got her for a dollar so like I said I spent two dollars and fifty cents so let me take you over and show you where I am displaying these vintage type candles so this is the little vignette that I put the candles in, and I'm calling this my vintage corner. Some of these things are actually vintage, some of them just look vintage, but I gathered everything that I had in my collection that looked old, and I stuck it in this corner and I made this little display. So I'll quickly go over some of these items. Uh, of course that is not vintage, I got that last year at Walmart, but it reminds me very much of an old TV that I had when I was a kid. It was actually the family's TV, but it was red, and it wasn't a whole lot bigger than that. And it was a black and white TV. And this one has a very cute little winter scene, and you can either have it on music or just on lights. I got this little guy at, a, at the Salvation Army a while ago, and I'm not really sure how old he is, but... I thought he looked fairly old. The ribbon candy, that actually came from the Dollar Tree, and I just bought it because I thought the boxes looked really cool, and ribbon candy is quite a vintage thing. Of course, there's the Santa, and that little mouse I also got at a, a thrifting um, this past year. The little school desk, I got that thrifting. Many of these items I got. Um, thrifting. This little angel here was my mother-in-law's and I don't know how old she is. She is porcelain and it says Norleans Japan on the tag. So I really have no idea how old she is. I have her sitting on an old antique Bible that we picked up, that my husband and I picked up when we were on a trip to England um, for our um, honeymoon about 25 years ago this little guy I got thrifting this year 
that little angel was from my five dollar goodwill challenge last year i've got this tree um, which was my mother's i remember this well we would use it every single christmas and i'm not sure where she got it um but we she's had it for years and then she passed it on to me um it's still got a few little you know problems but i just love it um and there's a few lights missing but i wouldn't change a thing I have it sitting on this wooden backgammon set that I got thrifting. Um, I wanted to rise it, raise it up in height and I thought that backgammon set would work well because of the red that's in it. Of course I'm sure you've seen these at Walmart. Um, they're very popular this year but that camper is definitely vintage style so that works well. I got these two little uh, they look like storybooks. I got those from the Dollar Tree. And then, of course, there's the snowman that I just got for this challenge. And then there's the other one. And this little snowman is definitely vintage. This was also my mom and dad's. And technically, it still is theirs, my dad's. But he um, said I could borrow it this year for this display. And once upon a time, it would sing, it would make music. Now, I don't remember that. I think it may have been broken. Um, you know, that part of it had stopped functioning by the time I had memory of this. Um, this is very old. Probably more than 60 years old, I would say. So that's my little vintage display. I think it turned out super cute, and I really, really like it. And I think just pulling all of these vintage things together makes a nice, you know, makes a big statement, rather than having the little vintage things scattered throughout my house. If I pull them all in one central location, I think it makes a bigger statement. Thanks so much, Hillary, for hosting this challenge once again this season. It's one of my favorites to do. And don't forget to check out the playlist. Thanks a lot for watching, friends, and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.